<clears throat> okay, so again, forgive me for the uh, small size here, but this says a tank contains 50 liters of oil at time t equals four hours. Oil is being pumped into the tank at a rate of at a rate R of T, where R of T is measured in liters per hour, and T is measured in hours. Selected values of R of T are given in the table using a right Riemann sum with three subintervals and data from the table. What is the approximation of the number of liters of oil that are in the tank at any time t equals 15 hours? So, generically speaking, we know that the, the amount of oil, I'll just start with words and then we'll move to notation. So, the amount of oil at t equals 15, that's going to equal the amount of oil... at t equals 4, plus the change in the amount of oil over the time period um, 4, to, 4 to 15. Okay, so generally that's what we mean. So, um, how about how, the amount of oil at t equals 4, they told us, right? It's 50 liters. And then the, the change in the amount of oil over that time interval, def specifically it's the integral, right? So it's the integral from 4 to 15 of R of t dt. And look, this, right, just check units, right? So this is liters per hour. And then a change in time here since time is in hours, is, is hours. And if you cross those off, then like you're, and of course this is 50 liters. So we are adding liters to liters. We just have to approximate this integral because um, we can't, you know, we, we don't know what it is exactly. We only have a specific um, table value. So this is gonna be 50 plus, now let's do a right Riemann sum. So that's just the area of three rectangles in which we're using the right hand side of the interval to determine the height. So the base of our first rectangle is going to be that difference, which is 3. So that's 3. And then the right-hand side is the right y value. That's 6.2. Okay, maybe I'll switch colors just to... So then the next rectangle would have a width of 5. And the height on the right-hand side of that interval is 5.9. And then lastly, the last rectangle would have a width there of 3. And of course, our last y value is 5.6. OK, and then if you just punch, we just punch this into the calculator. Um, 3 times 6.2 plus 5 times 5.9 plus 3 times 5.6. OK, and then we add. 50, so that was 64.9 plus 50 gives us 100. So in, in total, we get 114.9 liters. So that would be a choice C.